here we go again with more World Cup. We got Fruit Dealer versus who's Mysterious M. Um, I'll look it up real quick. Okay, that's his, that's just his forum name, Mysterious M. I was just wondering if it was some old. So he got subbed in for Greece, and Greece is number. They are eight and twelve, so that they are like number seven, but they're not doing too well. Like this win loss ratio doesn't sound that good to me. And Fruit Dealer is on Team Asia. They are also not doing too well. They're seven and nine. So it's either gonna be Scarf Chomp or Scarf Grin. I'm gonna assume it's Scarf Chomp and Z Move Tapu Lele, but it could also be Scarf Grin and Z Move Chomp. Mega Alakazam Psychic Spam got. I don't think the Chomp will be rocks unless it's the Z move. But yeah, U turn on Greninja. Protein Greninja confirms that it's probably Scarf Greninja. So this could be a uh, SD rocks, Chomp, and Spikes Pharaoh. U turns out in the packs, gets rid of the Black Sludge with a knockoff. So this is gonna go for T Spikes or maybe Hard Toxic. So he has a Mega Mawile team. I think this is the my man BTB's team. So same scenario, same here on, on this team than on the other team, where I was like either one of those two was the Scarfers and now we know it's Scarf Gwen, on this team is either one of those other Scarfers. Because if this is the, if it's Scarf Chum, uh, Scarf Trend, you're just too weak to Volk. I mean you have you have Zyga to check it if it's not HPIs, but like yeah, you get some teeth bike. I assume this is Scarf Lari, but. Not 100% sure what would be the Z move user on his team. It's either Z move. I think the land, the uh, the trend will be left over Stealth Rock. So it's either Z move Zygarde or the other potential Z move user would be this Larios, or he just doesn't have a Z move user. But I'm going off this being Scarf. So he goes hard in the top of Lily. Oh my lord, we have seen this before. Oh, I thought he brought this. Never mind. Because we have had this happen before where um, Trosco brought in his Tapu Lele on the trick and he was a uh, choice Scarf Lele and then they tricked Scarf for Scarf so he looked like a god. But yeah, this time it's Shed Shell Tapu Lele, which makes a lot of sense for this team. Because it's not, it's kind of weak to stall and you want to help versus the Dougie at least and have Shed Shell on this. Like I already said earlier that the Scarf Gunisha confirmed, but for some reason I thought when I, when I saw the trick come out, I thought that this was Scarf. But yeah, now he has a Chachil Lari, which means the item is pretty useless, but it just means he can switch up moves now with his Lari. I mean, he was slower than the opposing Scarf Grin anyway. The only thing he outsped with his Scarf was the, was the Mega Zam. But for any other matchups, it helps the Lari in the sense that he can switch up moves. So I assume it's gonna be Draco, Psyshock, Trick, Defog, just a standard Lari set. Some run roost, like I said earlier, but that's most of the time. I think only if you have a secondary defog user or if your team is not weak to hazard. And he doesn't have a secondary defog user, so I assume this is going to be defog. He switches under Heatran, I assume. This, uh, the Lele having Shed Shell kind of confirmed that that it's not Z, like obviously it's not Z Focus Blast. So it was probably just HP Fire, Taunt, Psyshock, Moonblast type of Lele. And he doubles out into Garchomp, which is a really nice play. So I'm. Like not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure that this is gonna be um, SD Earthquake, Z Outrage, Garchomp with Stealth Rock. Like it could be a different set, but it def it's definitely gonna be some sort of Z move with Rocks Jump. Unless he has double hazards on Feral Thorn. But I'm gonna pause it real quick until he comes back. Hopefully he doesn't time out. He is back, okay. So I don't have to pause it. The only other reason why I wanted to pause it is because I wanted to start uploading the game that I just recorded between Ray Scarface and Cory. So Fruit Dealer is gonna Like he's he's either gonna go for rocks or predict Fruit Dealer to pivot into Lari and go hard for like Z Outrage. Like Poik did that play the other day. Did he go for Z Outrage like Poik did? He just went for SD Wow. Man, that would have been such a good play, like I don't know why he SD'd. 
Like he was not staying in there with the heat win, but what I guess SD predicting the tank rolls, but no. Like I think it was pretty obvious that he would potentially go hard into Larios. So I would have gone hard for like you don't want to go hard for Outrage because then you get revenged by Moa. But Z Outrage was would have been a fine play if he has that. I mean uh, I don't know his moveset confirmed, but I assume he has that moveset. So he switches out in the Draco, but he goes for Psyshock, and that has absolutely nothing, even though there was a Misty Psychic Terrain boosted. So... I assume this is gonna be... A Fist of Ferrothorn, because I did so little. So Fist of Ferrothorn, I assume the Pex is a bit more spadef orientated to check Ash Greninja. So this is pretty... Um... Obvious that he's gonna go for Leech Seed or Rocks. I mean, I mean Spikes. I assume he has still. I still assume he has Spike and um, Rocks on Garchomp. The thing is, his Latios has Defog, so I can see Fruit Dealer staying in here, predicting Nakim to go for Hazards. Just go for any attack. He won't be able to touch this Ferrothorn, but if he, if the Ferrothorn goes for a Hazard here, and you stay in with the Latios, you can Defog the next turn. And T Spike only matters for those three months, but it still matters in that sense, like. You obviously don't want your Tangos to get poisoned. So I can see him going for um, Leech Seed here, predicting this to stay in and try and defog on the next turn, predicting him to go for Hazard Seed. But I'm gonna pause it real quick until he comes back. So he's back and what happened? I did miss a turn when I started uploading my thing. He did go hard Greninja on the defog. Okay, so he had just hard defog. That makes sense too. So he's gonna be forced out here. This is obviously Scarf U-turn Gren. So yeah, this confirms that... And I mean, we already knew that the last move was Draco, but like... The Defog basically just confirmed his entire moveset. <laughs> which was pretty obvious, not gonna lie. Just... But yeah, just saying that we know 100% that he is this moveset now. So he's probably gonna... Okay, he goes into Tangles, and this is not gonna do too much, like 30 maybe? 35, okay. So I could see this Greninja being like more special attack invested if this is AV Tang. Because that U-turn didn't do too much considering it's still Stab. Could have Protein. Like quote unquote Stab. Like everything is Stab if you have Protein. <laughs> I wanna know if the Outwitch kills this from 60. Um, Guard Jump. Versus uh, Tangrowth. I could see ZR Rich killing this from 60. If it's AV Tang. Yeah, at the 63 to 74. So if you see Rich, you can either go into the Guard Trump. Mm, what else can he do? He can go Toxapex, get the T Spikes back up. That's definitely an option. But he goes into Alakazam. Um, I don't know. This is not. This is probably not able. This is probably not going to be able to kill the Tangros. But the thing is, yeah, I can understand the play. If he Mega Evolves, he tries his Regenerator. And he disconnected again. So he, if he tries his Regenerator, he basically 2-hit KOs this Tangros, right? And if the Tangros goes for knockoff, and let's say knockoff does like 60% to Mega Alakazam. Knockoff does 53 to 62, which is like the best move that Tangros has to hit the Alakazam, I assume. So he can like hit this once, and then he's gonna be forced out and then he can also predict the heat run and go for focus blast on the next turn so I assume he's gonna go for psychic here first and he goes for knockoff I assume yeah right but regenerator later on will be really helpful to get this back to um, like 72 percent yeah so either psychic again or your hard focus blast on the trend I think I would hard focus blast Yeah, I, I, I'm s like I know it. Smokos Blast can miss, and it's annoying if he stays in and you miss. But he's probably going heat turn here, right? I want it. Depends if Ladi can lift the combination. If Ladi can lift the combination of um, Psychic and Shadow Ball, which it can't. Otherwise, he could pivot into Ladi. Um.
Actually, Lottie can live psych psychic in those Shadow Ball. Yeah, yeah, it can. He goes Hard Focus Blast, which I agree, I agree with that play, and he tried to go Greninja. Yeah, we was either going... I think he, I thought he was going Heatran, but I agree with Focus Blasting there. <laughs> I think he was Ash Greninja. And tried to scare us out with Water Shuri. Because how, how many hits would he have needed to kill us with Water Shuri? Let's say he's Ash Grin Specs and we make this to 103 special attack because he wasn't Mega Evolved yet. What a Shuriken would have done like 50 with 3 hits to Mega Zamet. Is that much? What the fuck? So yeah, he was most likely going to be able to kill the Zem. Maybe 2 hits with low worlds wouldn't be able to kill, but 3 hits would be able to kill for sure. So yeah, but he's Bandit E Speed probably. Actually, this could be Z move. We didn't find out anything about the Greninja. The Greninja could have also been Z-Move, but I assume the Greninja was Specs. So either doesn't have a Z-Move Mon or this is the Z-Move Mon. But yeah, E-Speed kills the Alakazam, no matter if it's Bandit or not. And Alakazam is not able to Oko. Why did I put Zen when I meant to put Zygarde? Like, Bandit does 67, but non-Bandit also does like 40 plus. He disconnected again. So if he has Dragonlance, he can click Dragonlance here. But the Ferrozone is like fist death, the Ferrozone is still super healthy. So he would also get seated and stuff like that unless he has like sub. And yeah, I, I was about I was thinking if the Zygarde could win the game here, but I don't think it can. Ferrozone is still too healthy. And he would need like two DDs, I think, to like outspeed the Grin. Which I'm gonna pause it real quick again. Okay, so when I pause it I found out that N Nador is playing with this Italian guy, so we will rewatch that game real quick. So we see he brings some Volcarona balance-ish bulky offense stuff. He goes hard into Magnezone, turn one with his torn, predicting. Why did he not Stone Edge? Probably predicted the scarf killed you, maybe? I don't know. They're playing super fast because I'm rewatching. He's not gonna stay in with his Volcarona. Yeah, he's just gonna go Mew. That does a lot. So this is Isa Scarf, Leleo, Scarf, Kelio. Not sure about that yet. Nador is playing for Canada, if I'm not mistaken. And this guy is playing for Italy. I don't really know how to pronounce him. So this Pedef drop really does a ton to the Mew. I, I don't really have time to call it because I'm rewatching. So I'm in, So I'm already in the back. I hate it when they play two games at once. So he's gonna get try to get the skull burn here. I assume that's gonna be Z move, Majorna, Scarf, Garchomp. He did put the Tapu Lele. He did put the Lele to sleep, for it to sleep. This is gonna go for knockoff, I assume. He, but he goes for U turn, which is a really nice play. Predicting this to go, predicting his opponent to go into arrow. Doubles out with Garchomp into Kelio. Gets frozen. Um, so he's gonna be uh, have to. He's gonna have to click Skull to saw. I'm not sure if Skull would have even killed the Aerodactyl, but he doesn't get the burn again. And he doubles Skulls on the Mega Aerodactyl, so it does Skull. Wow, it does kill. I, I wasn't sure if it would kill. So Giga drains that plays it safe. I think he should. Should have doubled out maybe, but the thing is he doesn't have the best answers. So this is AV Torn, I assume, just gonna softball up here with the Mew. And he just keeps fishing for the burn is what I thought, but he just goes for Toxic. So this is Shift Gear, so I assume it's Z-Focus Blast. Wait, the T-Bolt did 5, so this is probably a Solvus Magnezone. Does this Magina just win? Why did he, why did he Ice Beam? Oh, I think... I, I know why he Ice Beamed. He probably predicted him to pivot out into um, Tornadoes on the Z-Focus Blast. And he is the comment that, oh wow, he doesn't have Focus Blast, he's Double Dance. So that Freeze sucks, he's just gonna set up all over that Frozen Magnezone, but he does saw out. I don't know if that was why the chat was going so wild earlier because of that freeze. 
So the Magina actually loses to the Magnus in 1v1. Wow, I thought he had defocus blast. And now he gets into tornadoes. And what happened in the other game? He just went for 1000 arrows. So I assume that's choice Bennett. That's choice Bennett damage. Garchomp is gonna go for. Oh, he goes more well on the Z outrage. That's a gold play. So I assume he did predict the Tangros there. That's why he went for the Z devastating Drake. And that's the only time he missed. Wow. Because he was disconnected. So that's cool. We can go back to the other game then. Oh, they also didn't make a play. That's cool. So I caught b up in both games. I think Earthquake kills more while from full. Depending on more what's set, obviously. Yeah, yeah, it does kill. Holy fuck, that is so much. Oh, that's life up jump. Let me get rid of the life up. Yeah, it still kills unless the mobile has like way more HP than this in the Kalk. So he sucker punched. Can't the Garchomp stay then. So if he has Fire Fang, he can go for that. If not, he's probably just gonna go hard into Heatran on the Leech Seed Slash. Spike from the Pharaoh Thorn. So he did send out a Garchomp. There's probably Scarf. I don't think Outrage can Oko Tornadoes. Because they run max HP. The assault was variant. And this 65 to 77. So this is knock of U-turn and most of the time they run heat wave and hurricane. I've seen sludge wave sometimes or HPIs, but not that often on AV. He just sets up the rock. So is he scarf? Is he scarf rocks guard jump? Like his Mew is obviously going to be defog on his team with a Volcarona. I didn't even think about that, that he either has to be Rock's Arrow or Rock's Garchomp. And I'm thinking of this Garchomp and Scarf Rock's Chomp. Um, it's a bit weird. Like it's, If he's really Scarfed into Rock's, this is nice for door. Because he gets a free Volt Switch here on the Among Us. And then he gets his Tapu Lily in maybe. Volt Switch on the Mew, okay. So he did go. F he did decide to set up an SD because most Ferrothorns like can't really do anything back to Mawa. And if you set up to plus six, oh wow, he has knockoff and that Okos. Oh, that did that Okos. What the fuck? I thought he needs another SD to kill that. Like what I was about to say, if you add SD up to plus six, player of kills Ferrothorn, but he had knockoff and that was able to kill it. Uh, Sasha, HP fire kills. Um, I think that crit didn't matter. What happened? So good. Which game are you talking about, dude? Well, there's a Gen 4 game going on. Oh, AIM is playing too. Yeah, you guys can check his channel out. Like, AIM records his games. And if there's Gen 7 games going on, I will focus on those. And like I said earlier, I don't have the DBP knowledge that much, so... There's not really a point in recording AIM's games. Even though this is pretty annoying, like... Having two games going on at the same time. But yeah, I don't... He said sorry, but I don't know if the crit mattered. Actually, if he was choice scarf type of the crit could have mattered, yeah. Yeah, he got a choice scarf tricked, obviously, he was shut shell. But most of them, most of the type of lilies with shut shell run modest these days. So I just want to call it modest HP fire versus mobile. So yeah, that doesn't kill, so the crit didn't matter. Okay, wow. Even if he's modest, the crit matters. So he's locked into HP fire because he got the scarf trick. So Bennett a, a thousand arrows gets a kill here pretty much. Garchomp is low. Greninja might live one. So he's still trying to get a skull burn the door that is. Like I just want to clock if Greninja dies to Bennett thousand arrows from full. Has a chance to die, a good chance. So he's gonna throw in his Toxapex, this gets to it KO'd. Oh yeah, Black Slash got knocked off over there. I was about to say, what is this item? So is that gonna go into Greninja or I don't even think Moonblast from Tapu Lele kills this. 
And Tapu Lele will also give the Heatran a switch in. You think they're gonna Heatran? Heatran? Oh, not Heatran. What am I smoking? You should not. I really have to eat, but they're just spamming games. You think they're going Garchomp or Greninja is what I meant to say. Man. So in this game, he's obviously not staying in with his Keldeo when he has a tornado in the back. Nice double into Garchomp, because Outrage is a roll to kill. But if he goes for Outrage, he goes gets revenged by this. So Stonish is a really nice play. Stonish is obviously the better play, because you don't get locked in. If you go for Outrage versus the Lele. I mean, the Lele is asleep, but just saying. Yeah, it's just tough. I can't narrate well when I'm tired, man. Wait, which burned at more than 6? Which, which game are we talking about? Man, I hate it when there's like three games going on. I don't know which game they're talking about. If they're talking about the DPP game or... So both players have three dead, so it's like 3-3 three, three in the aim game. Oh, aim versus Tammy homie, that's hype, because let's take a SPL rematch. So the Mew gets to it KO'd here. He was obviously locked into uh, Stone Edge, so he had to switch out. That gave him the door scarch on the free switch. The thing is, if he goes into Amoongus here, the Lil is already sleep fodered, so and Gigarin doesn't do much to Garchomp, I assume. So it just goes back into his own Garchomp, okay? That does a fuckload. Does it really do that much? EQ from Garchomp versus Garchomp? And let's remove the life orb, but I think it really does that much. Yeah, it does 47 to 56, wow. So he decides to go Greninja, this will probably have Ice Beam, but I will just click U-turn or Hydro Pump here, because he's not staying in on the potential Ice Beam. He was either going into... Yeah, yeah, he was probably going Trend there, so if he had Pump, that would have been a good play. So we know this is, um... This is the Outrage. Do you need the Heatran for anything? Yeah, Heatran is really nice for the Lele. Heatran is also nice in the sense that, like, Zem can only kill up with Focus Blast, so it has to rely on Focus Blast, and we all know that move can miss. Hot Laddie, though, is a bit risky on a potential outrage. Yeah, this is a tough turn. I'm not really sure what I would do here from Fruit Dealer. Like, I kind of want to go hard into Ladi, but it's risky. So he does go into Keldeo. He's probably just sacking this off. There's the Outrage. So this gives a free switch into the Tapu Bulu or the Tapu Lele. I haven't seen the game, but I think it's a Z move Tapu Bulu. Like, I mean, you guys saw that I just skipped through the beginning. I kind of rewatched it fast. I can see him just going for Horn Leech because the Guard Chomp is locked in and you get all your health back. Like, you get some health back, the, the health that you took from the rocks. So, like, you only have to take Rough Skin. So, you basically. And then you get the uh, Grass Terrain back so you healed, healed a little bit more. Like, you negated the damage that you took from rocks. He did stay in, I can understand that, because the Latios was kind of obvious, so he did try to predict the outrage, is what I'm thinking. But Lati gets walled by this, like Psyshock, there's a good chunk, but not enough. And losing Hedron is pretty huge. I think Fruit Dealer loses now, yeah. Because Tangros was getting 2 hit KO'd, so he couldn't switch that in. Yeah, Scarf Greninja wins with Ice Beam now. You also can't e speed with um, Zygarde as long as Psychic Terrain is up. So, if this is not Z Continental Crush, the World Corona would get a fire equivalence on that, but he obviously goes hard into Scarf Chomp because you cannot let this equivalence up. Because if it equivalence is up twice, you just lose. He goes hard for Fire Blast and gets a crit. That sucks definitely for an Adore. 
I think the door is just gonna click earthquake here because it treat chaos the Volcarona. I don't think the Volcarona would be um, HP eyes on this team. I think it's HP ground. Because this Magina was like the bolt beam set, if I recall correctly, he just did this Dragon Claw. Oh, he didn't earthquake because of grassy terrain. That makes sense, yeah. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Among Us was a fine play then there because in grassy terrain EQ does nothing. Stone Edge and Dragon Claw also both bounce the fuck off. And the grassy terrain does boost up his Giga Drain, but he's probably just gonna go Tornadoes anyway. Because that's not gonna do much to Torn. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that this game is over. He can just go for Outrage here. The crit wasn't game changing, like even if the Tangles lift that barely. Scarf Greninja just cleaned up with Ice Beam and if that didn't clean up, he still had other mons left, like... Lady also got a Scarf tricked. So yeah, Fruit Dealer does lose. Um, not looking too good for Team Asia and we will check out this game here. He does Dragon Claw again and gets a crit, wow. Wow, these games have been a bit hexy, but at least no stall in both games. That's that's something new. He does not get the burn, and this is just gonna two it KO the Volcarona with Dragon Claw. If he got the burn there, it might have been over. But yeah, Mew obviously can't win this, and Nador picks up the win for Team Canada. I think Canada is not doing well. But if they win like every game that they have left, they still have a slight chance. My man Eric got subbed in for Canada. I think he's playing... I think tomorrow. But he's like playing 5 a.m. at time, so I'm not sure. I'm gonna be able to um, record that. But yeah, aim... Did aim win? Oh, they're still playing. It's basically the last turn. So it comes down to... I assume this uh, flag on a scarf. I haven't seen the game. <laughs> so I think aim wins, but we'll see. Oh wow, aim is slower, so you lose this. Wow. But that was a close game. I'm definitely gonna be interested in watching aims upload for that. But I thank you guys for watching, I kind of don't like when there's two games at once, but I also don't want to miss games, if I'm on Smogtooth, that is. And the next game also already started, so thank you for watching, I'll cover the next one in, the un in a new video, so peace out friends.